From the mornings you ease, to the evenings you quiet, to the dreams you inhabit. My thoughts of you never end. Oh, man. I never thought I would see this headline, but we're going to break it all down today. What is up, fans of Bridgerton? You probably heard the news that Reggae Jean Page will not return to Season 2. We're going to talk about why here in just a second. But first, I need your thoughts down below. How disappointed are you that the Duke of Hastings is not coming back? Now, fans of the book, this may not be a huge shock for you because we know in the second book we don't get that much from the Duke, but we do get just a bit enough to where I thought that they would bring back, in my opinion, one of the biggest breakout stars of last year. But according to Variety and the man himself, it has come time to bid adieu to Simon Bassett, the Duke of Hastings. Netflix and John Lan announced on Friday that the star's character will not be appearing in the second season of the show. Now, that doesn't mean we will not get more of the Duke in the future because I am sure they will move past book two. Uh, but as of now, we will not be seeing one of the biggest breakout stars of last year. Now, the man has a busy schedule. We'll get into the why of it all here in just a second. But first, if you guys enjoy this update, I'm a huge fan of the show, like covering it and all of the news that we get. Drop your thumbs up and that tells me you'd like to see more videos. And subscribe and check out my review for Bridgerton Season 1. It was good. And the message essentially states, while all eyes are turning to Lord Anthony Bridgerton's quest in the second season, it's time to bid adieu to Reggae Jean Page, who is the Duke and played him oh so well, saying, we'll miss Simon's presence on screen, but he will always be a part of the Bridgerton family. Daphne, however, will remain a devoted wife and sister, helping her brother navigate the upcoming social season and what it has to offer. More intrigue and romance, of course, than my readers may be able to bear. Now here's what Paige tells Variety. The fact that the short-term commitment was a big part of the role's appeal may come as a shock to some fans. He says, it's a one season arc. It's going to have a beginning, middle, and end. Give us a year. And he said it felt like a limited series. I get to come in, I get to contribute my bit, and then the Bridgerton family rolls on. He also talks about that the idea that Bridgerton is essentially an anthology with each book and subsequently each season dedicated to a different sibling's love story. So if you didn't know that's where the seasons are headed, well, that's exactly what we're going to get in season two. And surely enough, continuing on from there. He says one of the things that is different about this genre is that the audience knows the arc completes. They come in knowing that. So you can tie people into emotional knots because they have reassurance that we're going to come out and we're going to have the marriage and the baby. As such, the Duke's on-screen storyline has wrapped up with Simon and Daphne solidifying their love story with the birth of their first child. Oh my goodness, it's so sad. Now again, the actor was only contracted one season of the show, so this has been in the works for a long time. It doesn't, even though it kind of works out, it doesn't have to do with the fact that he has signed on for multiple films, so this is clearly not the last time you're going to be seeing Reggae Jean Page from the upcoming Russo Brothers film to multiple supporting roles in a lot of movies, and I'm sure he will appear in a blockbuster or superhero movie one of these days. The guy is one of the biggest stars in the world right now. And in terms of Bridgerton itself, the show was a huge hit for Netflix. The streamer reporting a record 82 million households devouring the series eight episodes in the first month after its Christmas Day release. The biggest hit Netflix has ever had. And then we go to Paige's Instagram post saying, The ride of a lifetime. It's been a pleasure and privilege to be your Duke. The love is real and will just keep growing. Fans are going to see that and they're going to get sad, undeniably. So now my question for you all, where do we go from here? We know we're going to focus on Anthony's story in the next season. Is it going to feel different not seeing the Duke at all? We know he will be there. We know we will feel his presence, but the star is clearly not returning for the second season. And is this something that is going to steer you away from the second season? Let me know all of those things down below and your thoughts on this character this could be a good place to celebrate what he was able to do in season one. All right, guys, if you'd like more Bridgerton updates, let me know down below. Appreciate you big time for watching. I'll see you soon. Go back and watch season one again. <laughs> but something really cool about this show, something completely unexpected, is that it kind of has this modern twist to it. I heard Bridgerton, I, I kind of thought Dickinson. It's a very different show on Apple+, Plus, but that show features a few little modern twists. Now, that show is way more modern than Bridgerton, but Bridgerton still incorporates a few of those elements, especially when you start looking at the music, the score. Uh, I was listening, I'm like, 
Wait a second. I'm hearing some familiar pop artists in the background, and then you have an orchestra kicking in. I'm like, this is kind of cool. It's refreshing.